tip again, sieve 225 grams of plain flour into your large mixing bowl. Next, weigh 125 grams of your butter just removed from the fridge and chop into small pieces. After chopping your butter as fine as you can, now use your fingertips to rub the butter into the flour and this may take up to two minutes and look a pale yellow colour and like fine breadcrumbs. Make sure you are rubbing in with only your fingertips as the palms of your hand are too hot and can melt the butter. Add 100 ml of cold water to your measuring jug. Make a well in your mixture and add a tablespoon of cold water at a time and mix with a knife. As you continue to add water a tablespoon at a time, your dough will start to form a ball in the center of the bowl. Then cover with cling film and rest in the fridge for up to 30 minutes. Take your washed cooking apples and cut into four quarters, carefully removing the core from each quarter and then removing the skin. Peeling the skin can be tricky, so take your time. When you're happy that the skins have been removed, use your chopping board and roughly dice. You could also use a veg peeler to remove the apple skin. When peeled, dice your apples into even bite-sized pieces. To sweeten your cooking apples, add two tablespoons of caster sugar and mix well. Using butter paper, grease your plate to prevent your tart from sticking. Remove your rested pastry from the fridge, lightly flour your counter and knead your pastry for less than 10 seconds, then cut in half with a sharp knife.
Take your time rolling out your pastry using a sharp knife to scrape down your rolling pin or counter if any pastry gets stuck. Try to handle your pastry as little as possible and make sure that it fits the size of the plate you are using. Try not to lose patience when you're rolling out your dough as it does take considerable time. Use your rolling pin to lift one side of your pastry, slide your plate underneath and place on top trimming the edges with a sharp knife. Now add in your cooking apples and spread out evenly. Now you're going to roll out your apple tart lid using your rolling pin, your sharp knife and a dusting of flour if needed. Continue to roll out your pastry until you get the size you require. Using your fingertips, Dab water along the seam of your apple tart, place your lid on top and then trim with a sharp knife as before. Using a fork, pierce the top of the tart twice to allow steam to escape, then crimp the edges with the fork also. Leftover pastry can be made into a leaf or flower decoration. Bake at 200 degrees for the first 10 minutes, then drop to 180 for a further 20 to 25. When slightly cool, serve on its own or with cream, ice cream or custard and enjoy.